What's up, Randy? What are we celebrating? Well, um, we're celebrating that Ty and I have um, consistently communicated about finances way more than we have in months previous. So that's awesome, especially when it comes to Monarch and everything. So we're so excited. And um, we, this last week, we canceled five needless subscriptions. And, um, and then we canceled another subscription, um, but that's because we saw at cost metals and we went, well, shoot, we had a subscription for gold elsewhere and we're like, well, that's silly. So now we're just moving it over to at cost metals. So we're excited. Nice. Heck yeah. Congrats. Let's come on. Let's celebrate. All right, Frank, what's up? What are we celebrating? I am celebrating the fact that I finally got a new house in 25 years. Nice. And I went on Friday and picked all my tiles and cabinets and all that stuff. It was kind of cool. So I went with my kids and everything. Spent more than I wanted to, but the money that I put into it, I think I'll get back. Yeah. You know, that's my big celebration. I love it. And Frank, here's what I love about it too, is that you're making decisions from a place of abundance. Like, would you make a move like that if you believed you weren't going to keep earning way more, being successful, paying off debt? Heck no, right? <laughs> Heck no. I kind of put my Airbnb on, on hold right now because I got so yeah. many things going on. But I went and talked to my boss who I've been doing really good with. He's like, you're going to do, you'll be able to pay that house off in no time. The bonuses you're going to get in the next couple of years. Come on, baby. Let's go, guys. I was happy about that. Guys, that's what we're talking about. Like, if you're, if there's a decision, you're like, should I do this or should I not? Like, if you believe it's going to help you, like, make more money, manage it better, be more successful, but then you don't do it, what are you telling yourself subconsciously? You know, that you're not going to be successful, you're not going to do it. Or if you're, like, not willing to buy that thing or purchase that thing. So, like, before I make a big money decision, I'm like, would I spend this money if I believed that I was about to crush it this next week or this next month or this next couple years that I'm going to continue growing? And it's like, if the answer is yes, then if I don't spend the money, I'm telling myself that I don't believe in myself. And that is going to cost me more than the thing I'm trying to get. Do you guys hear me? Okay. Same thing with giving. Like, would you give that money away if you believe that you're about to have a record breaking month in your business or you were going to crush it in this thing? Like, absolutely. So there's obviously a limit to where it starts to get kind of stupid. <laughs> so like Stacy and I, and everyone can hopefully like talk you out if it gets a little bit crazy. Like, yeah, I was thinking about leasing a McLaren, you know, next week. And it's like, okay, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but, but, um, but anyways, like keep making decisions from a place of abundance. Like, and I love that, Frank. I'm so proud of you for stepping into that. So well done. I had one more thing. Oh, oh, right sorry. Cool in the gang, you know, cool in the gangs took over. Okay, sorry. What's up? No, 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 no. I was just gonna say that after um all the hurricane happened, we got hit with the hurricane last week pretty bad. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And um I finally got the courage to get rid of some of my wife's clothes and hopefully it can help somebody. I love that. Well, you know what I mean by that, but you get it. Yeah. You're just, you're healing. It's a sign that you're healing. You're moving on and you're forgiving and you're, I'm, I'm proud of you, Frank. You've, you've come, I feel like you are, she would be so, and she is, I really believe that so proud of the man that you are today, even compared to when I first met you, it's like, you have just blossomed and you're it's, Thank you. it's amazing. So really proud of you, brother. Thanks. That's a celebration. <laughs> big, big celebration, 100%. We have a, quite a few wins. Um, uh, the big one is that we finally decided to move forward with your strategy to help us leverage um, some funds and sell two of the properties. Oh, okay. And so, um, and I think that's going to help us out to kind of give us some breathing room. And so we're going to, we're also, after talking to Stacy a little bit more and then hearing other people's testimonies and hearing what you shared, we're going to also inquire more about the debt consolidation program for our credit card debt and see how we can move forward with that. Um, I, the big thing with me was I kind of, so the hard work is doing the hard work that you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, ever since I opened that bag of worms of dealing with the fears and the trauma, it has opened up a whole flood of junk. And so I've been working closely with my counselor. Um, some of that have like you know it's it's a, it's emotionally and physically taxing and so um and i think that that was probably with the setback with that i had with my health the last few weeks and so um but on the good side of it as i've been working uh you know doing the work on it like it's i feel like it's 
like I feel the healing happening and it's yeah. um, the it, it just I, I really thought the hard work when we first started was going to be all about like the debt and the income and all that stuff and um, this has been the I think for me the it, it's it's been the recovery part you have no idea like how much this has helped me over years of stuff and so um moving forward i i do think that i completely agree with you and i would have never thought you know starting this process that that's what it would have been what it what it came down to is um trying to figure out like what that block is but there is a yeah. few things that were there so so it's been very helpful and if anybody has not done the hard work i would tell you that is a huge piece of this and i cannot tell you how many breakthroughs we've had with that so it's you know maybe I'll, I'll 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 post that on the facebook post you know a little bit further into a little bit more detail but but it's been really good um the uh jason's consistently getting income um, so he's getting all these jobs that are coming through and he's leveraging other people um, to do some of these work. So there's like 10 jobs going on at the same time is basically what's happening. And so, um, and he's, he's able to go ahead and do so that, that income increase has been pretty incons consistent. And so um, his, his boss awarded him, um, didn't give him the raise, he asked for it, but she gave nice. him an additional oh, yeah, of week of vacation. Nice. So we're taking advantage of it. So we booked a cruise to go down to the Panama Canal. And so Jason's oh, turning cool. 50 and we're having our 10 year wedding anniversary. So we decided we're going to celebrate with that. And it's a real estate investment cruise. So it's a business write off. So yes, that's why <laughs> yeah. everyone needs to have a business. I know, exactly. <laughs> the whole yeah. thing is written off. Um, and uh, and then we actually, too, as far as income is concerned, we got a private money deal. So um, based off of last month, what we did is we transferred the 401k funds into um, a self-directed IRA. And yep. now we already got a private money lending um, deal on the table. So we're lending money out of that with 10% uh, and two points um a return on it so that's actually going to work out it's backed by one of the assets so it's worked uh, it's going to work out really well and then um another acquisition deal that we got that is the next door um the home next door um the owner it, it's pretty much a zero percent interest owner financing deal that we're getting from him and so it's it's that's going to work out really well so we'll have two houses for rent right next door to each other so you're talking about like all oh, the last few weeks i just you know kind of been not been doing anything just you know taking it easy it's like yeah it clearly yeah you've been sitting on oh, your butt I, watching netflix yeah no yeah <laughs> i have not been doing that we've increased it's not like we're just stuck in this area we've increased our income by over like 65 percent in like one month we had like a record-breaking month last month and so you telling me to look at this through fresh eyes i'm telling you it has been the, one of the biggest breakthroughs i've had in my life so yeah. i i'm grateful so thank you <laughs> yeah. what's up lucy hi um i mine are really quick one i just want to celebrate i had a um assignment I was working on with Stacy that I got the stamp of approval for. So I'm really excited because I know her good girls don't, good job doesn't come easy because she pushed me outside of my comfort zone to do some things. So I'm really excited about that. And then also I was able to kind of, um, I guess mentor in a way, another colleague of mine in one of my HR groups that's also trying to branch out and um, start her own consulting business. So I was able to kind of um, pour into her a little bit today and it was really rewarding to be able to be speaking from a place of confidence, um, kind of taking all the things that I've learned to date and being able to share those things with her. So that's it. Yes, that's awesome, Lucy. It's time to come together. So yeah, the last two days have been just so incredible. Last month, I hired an answering service because we were missing too many calls in the office. And I get an email of all the calls the next day. And all of a sudden, I get my email status. And it's like, new patient visit, new patient visit, new patient visit, new patient visit. So I had 10 new patient visits in one day and then for the next day. And I do have follow-up visits, but we had about 10 of those in total. So each new patient for me on a yearly uh, basis is about $3,000. So 14 new patients is like 42K. 
So, and that's in two days. So I'm just praising Jesus and thanking Amen. him. Amen. That's awesome, Dr. Sonia. Love it. What's your-